Hey guys, it's Whitney with Schneider Fitness and tonight I wanted to talk to you about assumptions and judgment. I told you last week in the perfection video that I had been reading Aaron Brown's book, As Is. So a lot of these things are, I'm becoming more aware of some of these things. It's kind of funny because as I started reading her book, I thought, oh, you know, I can really relate to some of these things, um, but nothing really spoke to me. And then the more that I read, the more I'm like, okay, there's some work to be done. Um, anyway, we all have work to be done. But uh, back to the assumptions. Here recently, I had a client tell me that the reason I got my body back um, was because it was my job. Nope. Sure not, sure not my job. Um, my job is to help others reach their goals. You know, as a trainer, I provide, you know, programs, workouts, um, nutrition counseling, goal setting, um, and then all the tools to, to get you there. But it is not my job to look a certain way. And who decides that anyway? Well, guess who does? I do. So, anyway, there's that assumption. Um, <laughs> another assumption is that I work out three hours a day. Also, not uh, the reality. I do have to work, and I have a one-year-old that I chase after. And, yeah, I, I won't delve into that too much, but certainly not working out three hours a day. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, and then today somebody assumed that my glasses weren't real. Well, they are. They're prescription. Um, doesn't mean that I can't see you right here, but if I, I wanted to read the clock behind me, I couldn't. Um, also if I want to avoid migraines, I should wear my glasses. It doesn't mean I always do, but, uh, you know, I try. It's just not not uh, something I always think about. So again, these are those things. I mean, are personal for me, but um, I think that goes that we can take this further, especially in the realm of health and fitness. That um, you know, people should look a certain way in order to be fit or healthy. No, um, health and fitness come in all shapes and sizes. Um, some of the, you know, skinniest people I know have the worst health problems and vice versa. Some of the, the heavier people I know are healthy. Um, you know, they have good diets, they're active. Um, one size does not fit all. And again, health and fitness, it, it can come in all shapes and sizes. So just something to be mindful of, something to think about. I really like that Aaron's book kind of brings your attention to, to some of um, your stuff, or my stuff, I should say. Um, because when we have these assumptions and judgments, it's not about that other person. It's something within, and it's something that we have to think about and deal with ourselves. Otherwise, we just, you know, continue this, this kind of ugly cycle. Um, and kind of downward spiral. Nobody wants to, to live in that negative world. We're all just trying to get by and be as happy and, and loving and joyful as we can, you know, with the time that we've got. So that's my message to you is to just be mindful and think about one, think about the thoughts that you have in your head, but two, think about the words that you say. Think about the things that come out of your mouth and how they might affect somebody. Um, again, we're all just we're all just here, and nobody's perfect, but um, we can all work on it too. So, anyway, hope you have a good rest of the evening and or week, because I'm not getting this up tonight. <laughs> anyway, ciao.